In this video, you are going to learn how to use Etherscan. Etherscan is very important. It's a blockchain explorer on the Ethereum network. This website allows you to search through transactions, wallets, addresses, NFT contracts, and any other on-chain data on the Ethereum network. It is one of the most popular Ethereum blockchain explorers and it's also free to use. Using Etherscan can help you understand how you interact with the blockchain, if different smart contracts or NFTs are authentic, you can see all kinds of information from funds in any kind of wallet or anybody's wallet to all kinds of different information. Now, why is all of this important? All of this is important because if we create an NFT or if we want to buy an NFT, we want to know that it's the real deal. We also want to know how much funds are there on stored on the NFT contract, who is buying, who is selling, how often are the transactions happening, and if this is a live project. Now, as just an example, we are going to go to OpenSea. We're going to take any collection at random and let's select the CryptoPunks since it's one of the most famous collections. Now, I want to go into Etherscan from the CryptoPunks. It is <clears throat> conveniently the contract address is located right here. So this contract address holds all of the different CryptoPunks and we can see it on Etherscan. A short overview of this page. At the top part, we have the contract address. This is the CryptoPunk contract address, and this is that holds all of the information regarding all of the NFTs. There is also a contract overview where you see the balance that is stored on this NFT contract, and also the value in dollars the, with the current rate of 2,000 Ethereum for uh, one Ethereum for 2,000 dollars. We can also see on the right side, we can see that who the creator of this contract is, who deployed initially this contract and the transaction hash that was used to generate this contract. We can also find a tracker and this is unique for every crypto card, for every uh, NFT project. At the bottom side of this uh, view, we have different views. The first one is the transactions. So here we can see all of the different transactions coming in and out of this contract. So we can see that there is different bids that have been made for this. There has been withdrawals, there has been other bids, transfers, and other actions that have been uh, performed. So if we want to take a look at every single one of these actions, we can filter them by method and find only the ones that we are interested. Another interesting uh, information is also the value. And this is the value of Ether that was exchanged in the different transactions. So if you are looking at a CryptoPunk and you want to know that this is the real deal, you would check it out here in the contract address because whoever uploaded this picture or the CryptoPunks and it's owned by this person, they their contract is associated with this contract, which we found on Etherscan so that we know that is the original and the real deal. Another cool piece of information that is provided is right here in the contract. So this is the contract of the CryptoPunks that we can see publicly available. Every NFT contract is stored like this and is accessible by anybody using Etherscan or another blockchain explorer. So in this contract, we can see how the contract has been written, the different parameters of the contract, and we can also interact with this contract. So what does that mean? That means that we can read different information from this contract if, if we input certain information and we can also interact with the contract if we have the rights. You can write information to the contract. So if you wanted to transfer a punk, you can insert the address and other information. However, if you don't have a punk in your wallet, obviously this is not going to work. So you can interact or uh, see and visualize all of the information regarding the contract. Why is this important? If the web application, the web 3.0 application, if OpenSea is not available and you want to transfer your punk or you want to do different interactions with your contract, you can do them directly from this page. Another great feature is the analytics tab. The analytics tab is going to provide you how the uh, movement and how the how this contract is behaving. If there has been lots of action, so we can see here that it has reached the peaks uh, 75 over 75 million in certain periods of time, and we can see how the trading of this uh, contract is going. So it's a really great information, and there's lots and lots more information that we can drill down into. Another piece of information that I want to show you is how we can search for different wallet addresses. So this is the contract of our NFT 
What about our wallet wallet or somebody else's wallet? Let's say somebody is saying that they are the owner of a CryptoPunk or of a different uh, of a different NFT. Well, we can check that. Let me show you how to do that. We will take our address, our uh, Ethereum address from our MetaMask wallet and paste it inside of the search bar. We would search for our contract and we can see this is my address right here. This is the balance that I have on my address and the value in dollars and also all of the different transactions that have happened in my account. A lot of out transactions going out and just definitely too little in transactions. However, we can also see the different tokens that I have in my wallet. We can see the ERC20 tokens and we can also see the ERC721 tokens. We can see the different token contracts or trackers from the tokens that have been that have been associated. And also we can see with the different addresses that I have been interacting. So this is, for example, the, the Ethereum address of Snoop Dogg. And this is the Ethereum address of Gary Vee. So let's check out, for example, the Ethereum address of Snoop Dogg. So this is Snoop Dogg's Ethereum address, or at least this is what is declared. It holds 74 Ether and it has $150,000 in value. We can also see all the different transactions that happen in the ERC721 tokens, a lot of new tokens. So what it is, why is this also interesting? So if you want to follow what one of these important influencers in the NFT space are doing, we can follow their account and see what are the different tokens that they are trading and therefore know that there is probably some interest in these tokens and focus our interest either on buying those tokens or creating something similar or better than that. There is loads more for Etherscan. It is a really great tool that you should use to explore the Ethereum blockchain, different contracts, and be safe while using Ethereum and the blockchain. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.